Just the leadership can only be one by one, and it's going Dutch in 2021. So I'm gonna hop into iRacing and see what a normal civilian like myself can do against basically the Mercedes guys. Cause apparently this car is supposed to be exactly true. They had test drivers test it to make sure it's the same. It's a real life car. So in theory, this car in this simulator should be the same in real life. Maybe not, but that's the best we can do is compare this Porter Mau track on iRacing to what the real life drivers did. So I'm gonna compare my times to their qualifying times and let's see what happens. But first, a little bit of practice. Let's begin. Real quick before we begin, we're going after Lewis's 107.9 and at Valtteri's 108.4. And this is the 2021 Brazil GP qualifying results. Q3. So I did two laps. The first lap, I kind of had an off track, so that's why I did a second lap. But the off track in the first one, I don't think helped me at all. I think it actually hurt me. So let's get into it. First lap, coming down the straightaway, we're looking for this point on the right side. The 50 is where we're going to start looking in and braking right here pretty hard. This is the Senna S's. So we get here we want to square it off and get them on power as soon as possible. Run us down the straightaway and get us to this DRS point. Wing is open. We're going to go down the straightaway. That front halo is right in our way. It's kind of annoying, but here we go. 50 in, turn in. We're going to run a little bit wide here, but that's okay. We are in a Mercedes, so the FI will not care. And then we're going to run up the hill. Turn in, we want to maximize for the second apex and get wide here, carrying as much momentum. Breaking in, try not to lock up that right front. Locked up a little bit, that's okay. Keep it clean. Run on the inside of this turn. Get on power as soon as possible. Come out wide because we want to square this off without locking up the right front. Did a pretty good job there. As we're going to run down, this corner is where the tires heat up a lot. And we did a pretty good job of managing that, but it's going to be hot here for the turn in. We don't want to get on power too aggressively as we're going to spin those right tires and we are off to the races right now. Going down the front straightaway, going to look for the DRS point, open it up and then make the shortest point to the start finish line. This is a pretty good lap here. 108.2. Okay, hopping in for the second lap. Second lap here, we're going to hit that DRS and come down to the start finish line. Again, looking to the right for that breaking point right now, turning in. Down in the center S's, this is a really important part of the track because you want to square it off and get the best exit speed possible. Otherwise, you're going to be losing time this whole front or straight away down in this turn right here. Keep an eye on the right side. You want to find that breaking point and turn in. Much better turn than before. We don't go out wide, but still a little bit down on the first time. As you can see, our ERS is a little bit low since we this is our second flying lap. Hit that second apex a little bit wide, but that's okay. We're going to turn in. Keep it smooth here, keep it on the inside. We will go a little bit wide there and lock at the left front. Coming out here, keep it wide, turn in. Good turn, it's really easy to lock up that right front here because it is a bank. We got a little twitchy on the wheel because it is, tires are really hot. Second lap in, turning in, this was a much better turn than the last time. Going down the front straight away, we're gonna be looking for that DRS point to open up the wing. Wing is open, again, straight to the finish line as fast as possible. This is gonna be a clean lap, but 108.5, so not as fast. So let's break those lap, two laps down a little bit. So we were going after Lewis's 107.9. Now we ran 108.2 and 108.5. So that doesn't quite put us there on the 108.5, but the 108.2 does beat Valtteri's 108.4, which he ran in Q3 in qualifying. So are we faster than an F1 driver? Probably not, but but technically on the paper, maybe we could be the number one or number two Mercedes driver. I don't know. Obviously everything's a simulation versus real life, so the events don't quite overlap completely, but it was still a fun challenge and I don't know, I think it did pretty good. So I'll see you on the next one.